NASA clothing is everywhere. Strangers wear it, your friends wear it, and maybe you own some NASA swag of your own. The question is, why? And why NASA specifically? And how is this trend as widespread as it is? Today, I'd like to investigate this phenomenon and get to the bottom of how NASA branded clothing took over the fashion industry. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. At a macro level, for anything to become popular, I think that you need, first, a product that people can recognize easily, second, some initial attention for said product, and third, a way for it to sustain its initial popularity. Let's start with recognition. From an early age, you knew what NASA was. Satellites, rockets, astronauts, the moon, they all come to mind when you hear the name. It's not just some agency founded in 1958. First, it's the organization's storied history, the Apollo projects, and the space race in the 60s, the repeated attempts to get humans on the moon and be the first ones to conquer the final frontier, creating novel technologies to discover more than what was previously thought possible. Second, it's the missions in place now and the trust we have in science to solve pressing problems. There are initiatives in place right now to identify areas for maximum crop yields for farmers, and currently, there is a system being developed to redirect asteroids if they're in trajectory to collide with the Earth. It's called DART. Oh my god, you guys, doesn't that sound awesome? Third, it's the United States, and one of the few governmental bodies whose mission transcends politics. With such a divided country, NASA's ventures often receive bipartisan support because, man, that looks cool as hell. Though, yes, NASA is funded by taxpayers' money, it takes up less than 0.5% of the US budget for the value that it provides. So now that we've analyzed why people might support and sport the brand, why did it begin gaining traction in the first place? Well, according to Champion Hoodie's official blog, it started back in 2016 with celebrities wearing Alpha Industries NASA bombers and designers like Versace adding space-themed patches to their collection. NASA clothing began picking up as a trend when big-name celebrities were seen wearing the merch. Kylie Jenner, Chris Evans are just a few examples. In 2019, Ariana Grande released her fifth studio album, Thank You, Next. And the third song was called NASA, which included many references to space exploration as it was fundamentally a metaphor for needing space in her relationship. So with this level of popularity, it isn't hard to see why NASA clothing could see a short-term uptick in sales. But it still doesn't explain why the brand has taken over closets on such a massive scale. That's why we need to look at what specifically has been sustaining this initial popularity. I did some research, and it's pretty crazy. NASA allows retailers to use its logo for free. What? Usually, the way clothing companies can make apparel using a specific brand is through licensing the rights to that brand to be sold for a set amount of time through a contract. Companies always have to weigh this additional licensing cost against projected revenue, and if it's low enough, they'll decide to produce branded apparel. Since NASA is a governmental agency, though, it can't selectively favor some vendors over others. So NASA doesn't charge for licensing, and clothing companies, as a result, don't have to worry about the these additional costs. But it's not exactly a blank check either. NASA still has the right to deny requests or sue companies that portray the NASA brand in a demeaning way or show NASA as promoting a particular product. Prior to that initial spike in interest, there were only about three or four requests a month for using the NASA logo. But now, they've been averaging a request every day. Major retailers like Urban Outfitters, Walmart, Target, H&M, and Vans have been taking advantage of this, and they have been enabling the agency's steady rise in popularity since 2016. Though NASA doesn't profit directly from this, I still think it's one of the most successful organizations out there in terms of brand awareness. It's checked all three of my boxes, and I hope that it will continue to dominate wardrobes for years to come. On a personal level though, I just wanted to say that I love wearing NASA branded clothing because it's a free promotion for all the hard work they do solving Earth's problems. In 2021, researchers from UMICH used satellite data to identify areas with high concentrations of microplastics in our oceans. These microplastics are often toxic for microorganisms, and this analysis is the first step in keeping our oceans clean and making a nicer home for our friends under the sea. The second step, of course, is to clean it up. 
And that's why I'm proud to be promoting hashtag Team Seas. Team Seas is a project created by Mr. Beast and Mark Rober to clean 30 million pounds of trash out of our oceans by the end of 2021 through funding Ocean Conservancy and the Ocean Cleanup. The former targets beaches and oceans with a focus on sustaining native populations, and the latter targets rivers through using really, really cool technology to clean up tons of floating plastic waste. Each dollar donated goes directly to taking one pound of trash out of the ocean. The initiative has already raised over $15 million. I genuinely hope that we can play a role in making such a large impact together. I've included the link to donate in the description along with all of the sources that I used to make this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more content like this in the future, please consider subscribing. And I'm really glad that you decided to spend some time with me learning about how NASA clothing took over the fashion industry. Thanks.